Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at a couple OBD2 scanners and what kind of options you have on the market today to diagnose your car if you do get that check engine light or you just want to check your system or your codes if you have any pending codes and things like that. So here in front of me we have a couple options here. We have the Wi-Fi dongle here and we have a reader that has a little screen here. So it's a palm reader with a cord that plugs into your OBD2. So both of these accomplish the same thing but they have different ways of how they do it and how much they can show. Now if you want to go to the next level and see a lot more you would have to go to a more professional reader which would look something like this. So this is the Creator 3008 and if you pay a little bit more money you can get something like this and be able to have a lot better functions. So if you're interested in this I actually have a video review on this thing. I'll leave some links. Check that out. But today we're going to be concentrating on the more simplistic way that anyone can just plug into their car and see what's going on. So the main difference between these two is that with this it's a dongle so you plug it in and then you have to connect it to your phone. So once you connect it to your phone you can read the codes or read the diagnostics or just look at all the parameters of your vehicle with this. Now with that being said, this is a little bit harder for the average person to set up and get going. So if you're not too technically inclined, then I would recommend to go this option here. Because here you're going to have all the basic things that you need though, without worrying about connecting and all that other jazz. So on this Creator 3001 here, we can see all of the supports that it has and the features that it has to offer. So this reader is also made by Launch. And by the way guys, you can find the links to all these three in the description below. All right, so let's go to a vehicle so I can show you a little bit better how each one operates. All right, so we're in my car and uh, the first one we're gonna be looking at is the Creator 3001, so it's the handheld. So this is something you'll be able to pull out of the package here and start using right away without any kind of setup or anything like that. So that's the nice thing about a handheld handheld reader like this. So let's pull it out of the pack and you can see guys that's a nice size. It's not huge but it's still pretty comfortable to hold in the hand. So it looks like there's a protective little cover here. So here we have a LCD screen, function buttons for the menu, OK button and a back button. And on the back here we have the model number and looks to be the power input for this device. So at the top of the reader we have the cable that comes out and the cable looks like to be about two to three feet long and on the other end of the cable we have the OBD2 plug socket and there is a cover to keep the dust away. So all we have to do is find the OBD2 plug on this vehicle and plug it in. So most cars will have their plugs underneath the dash, but sometimes they put them in weird places like passengers, like this area, the console area. So if you can't find yours, then you might have to look it up to see where it's located. So I found that when the car is running is the time when you can plug this in and it will start reading all the information. So our plug is under here, so I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. And when I plug it, we can see that here we have the main menu. And the nice thing about this reader here, guys, is that it does have a color screen. So that makes it a little more premium feel here and just a nicer experience to use. So right off the bat here, we have a few options. We have the diagnose, DTC lookup. That's basically if you want to look up the code that you got, tool setup and help. So we have two, four choices here. And as you can see, I'm using these buttons here to navigate up and down. And so if we want to select something, we'll click OK. So let's go ahead and do a diagnostic on this car. And so that's what it's doing. So it's checking the computer. And here's what it comes back with. DTC in this ECU is zero, which means there's no check engines. Readiness is okay, meaning like it's emission ready, I think is what it means. And there's a few other more parameters there that we can see. So if I click down, I can see that I can get more menus here. So I can read codes, erase codes. So if you did have a code, you could erase it if you did have if you if you wanted to read the codes again you could do it here also so this is emission readiness so if we click that you know it'll give us a couple uh things here so if you have a state where you have to do emissions this has to be ready in order for you to pass that emission standard so here it'll kind of tell us if the parameters are okay or not according to everything that has to pass so everything has to say okay in order for it to pass the emissions and this is the drive cycle which is a certain amount of time that passes in the miles that you drive in order for everything to log in for you to pass that emission. So we do have a data stream option. So this is everything that this car supports for data streaming. And you can see the, the readout there live of all the different parameters on the car. There's 43 of them. It's quite a bit of information. So this could be very handy if you wanted to diagnose a problem. You can see the live readout here. So we also have freeze frame, O2 sensor test, so let's go ahead and try that. So bank one, 
Okay, so this vehicle doesn't have bank one. We'll go to bank two. So here it shows us the minimum and the maximum voltages for bank two. So we also have onboard monitoring, EVAP system, and vehicle information. So it, t it can tell us the, v the VIN, the CID, and the CVN. I'm not sure exactly what that means, but the VIN, everybody knows what that is. So, so as I go back and back, it's asking me if I want to exit, and I'll say yes. And now we're back at the menu here. So one of the other awesome things that you could do here is you could look up your little code. So if you did get a check entry code, you would punch it in here, and it would tell you what that means. So let's just say P100. So P100 is a code for mass airflow center flow circuit. So, so there you go. So that's how that works. So if you want to find out what a code means, you punch it in here. So you don't have to like go and try to look it up on the internet or whatever. And so here we have a tool set up and you can change your language or the measurement unit. And it does quite have quite a few languages here as you can see guys. Seven of them to be total. So yeah guys, and that's basically the, the basics of this reader. And I think that most people out there this is probably what you want to get because this is this makes too much sense to just you know have this and read out your codes and diagnose through here now with that said if you're technically savvy and you want to go deeper and that's when this dongle comes in here and this is where we can get a little bit more information out of the car or at least certain parameters through our cell phone using a third-party app that will be able to read information specifically to that vehicle so there's a lot of different kind of brands out there most of them do about the same but some of them use better electronics and better chips inside the readers better protocols where you can get more out of it and just faster response time overall so what we're going to do with this is we're going to plug it in obd2 plug in our car and then we have to connect to our phone through wi-fi and by the way guys this one's made by a company called king bullet so it looks to be a pretty high quality and a pretty attractive looking red case so once you connect it to the wi-fi there see it says wi-fi obd2 that's the name of it then you're going to need some kind of app so what i like to use is torque so once you're inside the torque app here you can see you can choose from quite a few things that you can do now if you have to go in the settings and change down here in the corner you can see that you can change the obd2 adapter settings right here and you can choose from wi-fi or bluetooth wi-fi or usb so in any case you might have to go to some of these settings to get it to work is what i'm trying to say and once you're connected and you got everything working you know you can go through any of these options here and see whatever you got to see but so if you just want to check your check engine it's pretty simple you just go to this fault code you click on this and it will scan the computer there you can see the timeline and as you can tell guys this is taking a little bit longer than the handheld reader we used earlier because you know this is over wi-fi through a dongle so it didn't find any faults and we're good to go so if you go to this real time tab here here's where you can read information so these are kind of the generic things that comes with it and you can see right now it's connected to the car we can see our coolant our vacuum our throttle so if i push the throttle here you can watch the rpm and the right there and that's how much throttle I'm pushing right there so and we also have a speedometer there so so yeah you can really get detail with this thing and here we also have emissions ready so these are just some of the stock things that comes with it so but if you go to a, just a regular window you can click on it and you can add a display and here you have different options of different graphs you can use depending on how you want to see that parameter but let's just click on a random one so here everything in the green is what your car can read and everything that's blacked out is not readable i have a bunch of stuff on here because i have it set where it could read prius batteries and all that so there's a bunch of extra things here and if you want to put in some custom pads let's say you want you know for some reason you have a hybrid or something crazy then you'll go to settings and then you go right here extra pad manage and sensors and once you click on that you can see the all the extra sensors i have put into the phone so most of this stuff is prius stuff but if you click on these three little dots on the side you can see here they have a few options they do have a few predefined and if you click the predefined ones you can see that there's quite a few of them here that you can choose from so if you got any of these vehicles you might want to go ahead and add those so you can see a lot more information and as you can see the gen 2 and 3 prius is also in here so yeah this could be very useful for a special diagnostics like a prius with a hybrid system this would be the only way you could do it or one of the only ways i guess so if you're a person that's looking for more detailed kind of diagnostic this might be the better option for you all right guys and these are the two diagnostic tools that we looked at here so you can see that 
I think most people would prefer something like this better but if you need to get more detailed or you need more specific tools especially like hybrid tools and things like that you might want to go with a scanner like this probably going to be your better option all right guys well hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did then hit that like button if you want to pick up one of these scanners i'll have both of them with links in the description and i'll also have the professional one in there too if you want to check that one out and if you like videos like this and you're not subscribed then hit that subscribe button hopefully this video was informative and hopefully you can understand a little better of what tool you might want depending on what needs you have all right guys and as always thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one peace